Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be drawing a simple floor plan in AutoCAD 2025. Let's get started. So right now we have in front of us the outline of what we're going to be doing. In this video, we're going to be just going over how to do units, setting up your walls, setting up your door and window blocks, and creating actual blocks. And then next week we're going to do text, hatches, and dimensions to round that all up. I'm going to try and keep this tutorial total with both parts under 20 minutes so you guys can get as much information as possible in the shortest amount of time. So the first thing you need to do is set up your units. So what we're going to do is, as with previous lessons we've done, we're going to type in units and then you're going to see this pop up here. If you can't just type it in, then go down to your command bar and type in units from there and then press enter. Once you press enter, you'll be able to set your units. You come up here, You'll see that you have a variety of choices here. We're going to choose ours to be architectural. We're going to keep our precision at 1 16th of an inch. We're going to keep the insertion scale at inches and everything else we're going to keep the same. Lighting is going to be international, everything, because that doesn't matter right now. Angle is going to be decimal degrees. You can also switch it to, you know, degrees, minutes, seconds, radians, or surveyor's units. We're just going to keep it as decimal degrees to keep it as basic as possible. So once this is done, you just press OK and we're ready to start drawing our main walls for the building. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just draw the main structure. So come up here and go to your rectangle tool. So just select that. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to create your rectangle for the base of the building. Again, this is just a simple drawing, so it's going to be kept as a rectangle. When you're doing more complex drawings, you tend to use more than one rectangle or you will just use polylines. In this case, we're just going to draw from here. So I'm just going to select a point and select wherever you want. And we're going to make sure that our structure is, uh, let's do 12 feet by 15 feet. So you're going to see that at the top right, or at the middle top part of my rectangle, I have a dimension of seven and a half inches. I don't want it to be that small. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in 12.5 and we're going to click the feet key. So the feet key is right beside the enter key. You do not hold shift when you press it, you just press it and you'll have feet. Um, we are using architectural units, so you can put in three and sixteenths of an inch, but it's just easier for what we're doing to put in for half, 0.5. Once that's done, press tab, and you're gonna see that it's automatically given us that dimension of 12 and a half feet, and it's already locked as you can see. You're also gonna notice that we can now adjust the dimension of the rectangle in the opposite direction. So you're going to see it's highlighted, but it's currently covered by other text on my AutoCAD program, but that's okay. We can still use it. So we're going to just repeat what we did last time, except we're going to type in 15 feet. So I'm going to type in 15 feet, and I'm going to press enter. Once this is done, zoom out to, you, to where you can see your drawing, and we have our drawing right here. The next step is we're going to go through this, and we're going to create our rooms. It's going to be a simple drawing. We're going to have maybe four rooms. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So with this example here, we're just going to create, you know, a few rooms, as I said before. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to our line and we're going to just figure out, OK, well, where do we want our rooms to be? Uh, so the first thing we need to determine is what is our drawing? So I don't know what it is. We're just going to call it a, uh, a barn uh, or a shed. We'll just call it a large shed. And what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to, you know, make sure we have our room. So I'm going to come out to the extension. So grab your line. And if you come to the corner, you're going to see that I'm snapping onto the corner. If it's not snapping for you, come down here, and you're going to see we have a, a variety of things here we can snap to. I suggest for this video, you take a picture of the ones you have selected so you don't forget what they are if you like using them. And then I select go suggest selecting all the ones I have so you can follow along with what I'm doing better. If you have other ones selected that I don't have selected, you might snap into locations that I will not snap into. So I highly recommend you go and select these. I will leave it up on the screen. You pause the video, go and change yours, and then come back to it. Once you've done that, we're going to come back down. We're just going to get off that, and we're going to go to our corner here. So once you're in the corner, you're going to see it's going to your cursor is going to snap to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to come out. We're going to extend this by about four feet. So you're going to see we have a green line. This is the extension of what is in here. So if we come back here, the extension is this tool right here, and that allows you to extend out. Um, from the point you're using. So if we come out and we go, okay, well, the extension is two, and a, two, two feet, eight inches. We're just going to keep going until we hit four. So once you're at four feet, you can then press down and you're going to see that it is snapped to our line. Once this is complete, we can then go and we can go, okay, well, it's 15 feet um, up for our dimension. So we just type in 15 feet, keep it at 90 degrees, press enter, and your line will go all the way across. 
once this is done, we have our first main wall. So then what we can do now is we can go and create our other little walls in our structure. So if I come down here, I can use the extension tool again to go down four feet. And I can just go across like this, make sure it's, you know, at 90 degrees, zero degrees, 180 degrees. And I can just make sure it snaps to this line by going to the middle point and then keeping my angle at zero, but making sure that it actually hits the line. You're going to know it's hitting the line when you have the green. So once that's done, you can just click that and you're going to have another wall. We're going to go do through and do this one more time. We'll just come up here. We'll go up about four feet and eight inches or four feet and eight inches or so. You can keep it around there. And then we're just going to do the same thing. Go to the other wall here, make it eight feet and six inches across. It'll snap and that'll be good. You're going to see I have a little problem here because it's a little longer than the other line, but I can just pull that back with this little um, square right here and just pull it back to the other line and it should line up properly. So this is the base of our floor plan for our drawing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and figure out, okay, well, how do we make our walls thicker? That's what we're going to do right now. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to offset to create those walls. So when we're offsetting, we are taking a line or a rectangle and we're making something parallel to it pretty much. So there's a few ways to do this. You can come up here, you can click the offset tool or you can type in offset. I'm going to select my rectangle first. I'm going to type in offset or select offset if you wish. And you can specify the distance by selecting it or by typing it in. So I'm just going to do through. And once that's done, press enter. And then you're going to go outside of your rectangle and we're going to do 10 inches. So on our drawing here, it's going to look a little big. Actually, you know what? We'll do eight inches. So then we have our exterior walls. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do it for the interior walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our interior walls. We're going to offset by six inches. We're going to press enter. And then we're going to do the same for the other two walls. So we'll just type in six inches and we'll do it to the right. So then we'll do six inches on this side as well. And then we have our walls fully offset. So we're just going to clean up our drawing a little bit now. And what I mean by that is we're going to make the walls flow better. So what I need you to do is type in the trim, or you can come up here and just click the trim tool. And then once you've done that, you can go around your drawing and you can erase some of the lines. You're going to see I have an issue here where I can't erase that one. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to go through and click through. Make sure everything's kind of snugged up a little bit. So just go through and do that. And once that's done, you should have a drawing that looks decent and clean and you've got nice walls. If this isn't working for you and you followed along, it's probably because one of our lines isn't actually touching. So just go and make sure that this is touching and then make sure this one's touching as well. We'll just zoom in and you can see that we're slightly off. That's what happens sometimes when you are typing in numbers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in trim again and we're just going to go and we're going to go and trim that. And then what you can see here is we have our main walls completely done now. So now what we have to do before we add details is we need to add layers. So for that, we come up here, click layer properties. If you don't know what layers are and you need a more thorough understanding of AutoCAD, you can just click on the link right up here. That's going to bring you to our AutoCAD for beginners program that we have posted a few weeks ago. It should really help you out. So what we're going to do back on topic is we're going to come here. We're going to create a new layer. We're going to call that layer door. We're going to create a new layer again. We're going to call it window. So what we're going to do next is we're going to change the color for our door. We'll make it blue for window. We're going to make it, uh, I don't know, let's make it red. Uh, if you need, we're not going to deal with line types or line weights or anything like that in this video. Again, you can go check out the other videos on our channel for that. So once this is done, we can then go and get out of this and we are ready to start drawing our door and window blocks. So the first thing we're going to want to do when we're making our door is we're going to want to select our layer. So just come up here and select the door layer that we had before. We're going to go here, click a rectangle. We're going to go click somewhere and we're going to create a door that is four inches by three feet. Once that is completed, we can then move to arc. When you are at arc, select center, start and end. This will make your life a lot easier. So then just click in the bottom corner and then click in the top left hand corner opposite, as you can see I'm doing. And then you're just going to be able to come down here and make it line up at 180 degrees. So it'll be perfect with what we need it to do. We're going to take a line and then we're going to just draw that across. Once this is done, we can then get into making a block. So just come here and we're going to select this. We're going to type in block. If you don't want to type in block, you can also come up here and type create block. So I'm just going to click on block and then you're going to have this block definition box pop up. 
So when we're in here, we're going to call our block door single because it's a single door. You can then select on screen or select where you want it to for the base point to be. I'm going to pick a point. The base point I'm going to keep as the bottom right hand corner. So that's where it's going to be inserted into our drawing. That's very important because if you do it wrong, it will insert way off of your drawing. I do that in some of my videos and I just don't have time to go fix it. But um, this way you can insert it from the point you need it to. And then what we do here is we're done there. Just deselect the open and block editor. That's for dynamic blocks. If you want to check out dynamic blocks, I will leave a link in the top right hand corner for you to go check that out. And once that's done, just click OK and we have our block. So just click this, click that, press enter, and we have our block. So now that we have our block, we can come up here and we can insert a single door block wherever we want at any point and anywhere in our drawing. So I'm also going to create a double door block. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create our block or select our block here. We're going to type in explode so it's back to its basic, you know, parts. So right now it's not a block anymore. I can still insert the block and I still have the block, but the specific block is no longer a block. Once I have that, I can type in mirror. Once that is done, I can select a mirror point and I can just select right down there and you'll be able to rotate it if you select where I selected. And then you'll see that it's going to, you know, allow you to then um, double our door. So we get a double door and it's going to ask you once you click, um, you know, enter, if you want to erase the source object, we obviously don't want to, because if you do, it will erase the original one, uh, which is, has its uses, but in this case, we don't need that. So just click no, and we now have our double door. Once this is done, type in block again, or go click create again, press enter. We're going to call this door double. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to click select a point we want for insertion. I'll do the center here. We're going to do that, click OK, and then we're going to select our object, press enter, and we now have a double door block. You're going to see here if we go to insert we're going to we have our double door and our single door so you're going to see that our drawing is i should have addressed this earlier but our blocks are very dark so we can just come up here and go and adjust that the blue is very dark so we'll just come up here and we'll do a lighter shade of blue so we'll just do a lighter blue we're going to click ok and you're going to see that our our doors now show up a lot nicer so what we're going to do now is we're going to create our windows so we just go up here select our rectangle we're going to do five feet by four or five inches. And we have the main window part here. So just select it, type explode. And then we're going to make this a little nicer and make it a little better. So just go back to the offset command like we went over before. Type it in. You can specify your distance. I'm just going to select, I'm going to select the top one here. And we're going to go down by about an inch. We're going to do the same for this one. And then that is how you get a, this is a basic window. Now you can also select uh, the ends here and you can move, move a portion over and offset it to the center um, to make it look a little nicer. Uh, you know what, we'll do that as well. So just do that and then there you have a window. So this is the window we're gonna be using for this drawing. Again, you can make windows of different sizes and shapes. I will show you again how to use the mirror command. So we're just gonna select this. I'm gonna type in mirror. We're going to specify the mirror point is here. We're just going to rotate it out. We're not going to erase our source object, but then we have a larger mirror. I can also go here and I can select this and then I can copy it. I should have done this before I mirrored it and then I can move it up and then there I have my main window and then a double window. So what I can do here now is I can block these like we did before. We just select our object we type in block or you go up here and select create, hit block, type it in as window one or window single Specify a point on screen for insertion. I'll do the center for this one. And then I'm going to click OK. Select my objects once again, press enter, and there we go. I could do the same for this one. Type in block. This will be double window or window double. Pick a point on screen. We'll do the center again. Click OK. Select the objects. Press enter, and you have your windows. So right now, if you go to insert, you're going to see we have our double doors, we have our double single. Um, door and we're going to have our window single and window double. So the next thing we're going to do is add our windows and doors to our drawing. So I'm going to give you a warning that right now that we're not going to use the single doors. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to um, create openings because our drawing is very small to scale uh, and in a building of this size you actually wouldn't have you know this many you know 
walls and doors in a structure. Uh, I'm going to do in part two, I will do a larger structure and show you how to do that. But just for the sake of this, we're doing a small, simple structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our double doors, we're going to grab them, and we're going to move them. So I'm going to move the middle portion to the middle of my drawing here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate it. So I'm just going to rotate this out. And I'm going to grab it again. I'm going to have to move it again because it didn't move. I grabbed the wrong corner. And then I'll just I'll put it in the center of where I'd want it. So I'll just put it down here. And then I have my double doors in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in trim. And I'm going to just trim out these little parts of the wall here that are no longer relevant to what we're doing. So just here, here, and here. And there we have it. We have our double doors to our shed added. Now, actually, you know what? I will add the small width, the small door here. So what we're going to do is take the small door. We're going to move it. And it's going to follow the same principle. We'll just take the small window or the small door. We'll move it up here. We're going to try our best to center this. So just type in move once you get it in the general area. And it looks like we actually had it really close. Once that's done, type in trim. Trim that and your door should be looking somewhat like this. So once we have that in, we have our two doors ready to go. So the next thing we want to do is figure out where we want our windows again. Now, I'm not going to use the big window. I will just use the small one. I'm going to take our window block. I'm going to move it. We're going to take this, grab the middle. We're going to pull it where we want it. I want it in the middle here. And then I'm also going to just go around and I'm going to copy this. And I'm also going to put it in other locations that I want it. So I'm also going to want it here and I'm going to want it here. Um, I'm not going to put any in the front, just in the back. Once this is done, I'm going to take this window and I'm going to rotate and make it work. So we do this, we click rotate, click the center point, rotate it out. We'll do the same for this one. Um, we're just going to grab this one, we're going to move it. We'll move it down. We'll take this one, we need to move it up a little bit. And you can see that our windows are a little small for what we need, but that's okay. We can always make it a little bigger. So what you're going to notice is our windows are actually too small for our exterior walls. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and we're going to edit our block. So to edit our block, we have to go to the block editor. But first, I highly recommend you go and change the color of your window because orange isn't going to show up well on the background in the editor. I'm going to change mine to black. I'm going to click OK. You can always switch it back. And then we're going to go to the editor. So click Edit. Select your window single and then click OK and you'll be brought to this screen. Once you are in this screen, you're going to be able to edit your block. So just select your line here, grab it and pull it up to eight inches. Eight inches that we need is going to be the bottom one. So we're going to press tab eight inches, click OK. And then we're going to do the same to this side. And then we're just going to go and do what we did before. Eight inches. And then we can pull everything up that needs to go up. We're just going to grab these portions of the window. We'll grab the middle part and we'll make it a little straighter. Make it look better. And there you have it. Our window is good to go. Once you're done editing it, click Close Block Editor. Save the changes to the window. And you're going to see our window sizes have grown and they actually fit where they're supposed to fit. I'm actually going to change, grab this one. And I have to move this one down for a minute. But that's how you'll get your windows to fit. We can go back then and we can go and change the color of our window back to orange so that it looks a little nicer. And then you have your windows inserted into your drawing. You can also insert windows in the middle portion. Um, one thing I didn't mention when I was creating the blocks for the windows and doors is you need to make it so that it fits your wall sizes. So interior walls tend to be thinner than exterior walls. So just keep that in mind if you're doing interior windows versus exterior windows that you draw the block properly. So right now we've gotten to this point in our drawing. Uh, I know it's not the most pretty thing, but I just felt like I needed to get something like this out. Again, part two is going to be coming later on next week. Um, at this time, you can expect part two to be showing up, and I'm going to show you how to do a little more complex drawing with a little more blocks. Uh, this is just for beginners who don't really know what they're doing, and they need to start learning how to do things in AutoCAD. So hopefully this helped you a lot. Uh, Again, if you're interested in anything else, uh, let us know. If you like the video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you so much. We have some resources down in the description for you if you need some help or you want to sign up to a webinar or if you want a free AutoCAD course, we are offering that. So just go down and click that. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.